Hello, welcome back. It's episode 28. It is time for deployment. So, I've been sat here staring at this map. Now, the plot is that old Rommel here <clears throat> takes his big ass group of units, blocks these bridges for you, and then pushes up here, attacking the French from behind. Meanwhile, you are allegedly supposed to be able to clear away this area and uh, and seal them in. Blue bags. What's interesting to me is that these two objectives here I'm just, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned about this bonus objective because I get the feeling that old Rommel will, uh, will be a pain in the ass and capture these before I can get them. So I'm wondering if it's wise to <clears throat> run some paratroopers here so I can dump them on these hexes and get them as immediately as possible. This, this is... It's so funny here. I'm not even I'm not even concerned about the enemy forces. What I'm concerned about is my ally costing me the bonus objective. That's literally where my thoughts are going. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deploy a huge army here and I'm just going to smash my way up here taking all of this and taking this and this and hoping that Rommel follows the script and takes these and then we can go from there. Now, there is an airport here, which I could use to load up some paratroopers and send them um, in the, uh, up. So this this river ensures the encirclement from this side. So we could take some paratroopers and bring them like here and here and here and here. And come in from the top to make sure that Rommel's encirclement is actually sealed. <clears throat> Right, but before we think about that, um, I was also thinking about cross-classing. So I have two tanks with Steamroller and Reasonable EXP. And uh, they've also got some soft attack bonuses. <clears throat> and I was thinking of cross-classing them to artillery. So obviously... By doing that, I am losing their their experience here. 15 centimeter. With transport. Let's make a max strength as well. <clears throat> because I've just come to the conclusion that I really want Steamroller on everything eventually. Now, <clears throat> remember we got a zero slots hero. Now, having done that, <clears throat> these two units have now lost uh, two stars of experience. But they have good medals and they have steamroller. Now, I have two 15 centimeter guns here. And what they have is skilled support. <clears throat> and some other medals as well. Some actually pretty solid, some pretty solid medals on that one. This one's getting close to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and this one is getting close to um, having soft attack bonus. And I thought to myself, well, skilled support is not very useful, is it? And then I figured, actually, what I can do is I can send these artillery back. We'll make them three Fs for now. As a uh, let's let's make them one As, just so that we know that we're, we're going to be changing them. Actually, I can send these two back.
And I can use that skilled support. Funnily enough. Where can I use that skilled support? Well, I can use it on the KVs. Because they have an artillery mode. And I'm also going to change this one as well. Same deal. Skilled support and also very close to leveling up. Artillery pick up awards quite quickly. Um, I think it might be the case that it counts the kills that the artillery would have gotten had it not had the suppression trait. So artillery actually gain a lot of kills even when they wouldn't. Now, there's one more thing, and that one more thing is this artillery, uh, this anti-tank, I used it for a couple of rounds in 1939, has got the survivor trait on it, <clears throat> which has become quite rare because um, It's become rare because the um, survivor requires you taking five hits now for it to trigger. That's a lot. Okay, so for the guys who are currently rocking KVs... Let me just uh, down strengthen this guy first. Oh, it's not going to let me take the zero slot zero off. <clears throat> For the guys who are currently rocking KVs, I actually have received another set of three H's. This is a uh, solidly superior tank to basically anything I have right now. In fact, in some ways, it is as good as the KV. It has similar anti-tank value, it's faster, it has better initiative, and uh, um, the slot cost is greatly reduced. That does mean that I can run another 3H. Okay, so let's unsign this. Let's put this guy back to... let's just make this guy 3F. I don't want to use too many of these Panzer 3Hs because I've got two deployed now. Okay, so let's shuffle this guy. Do you know what? I mean, I should probably cross-class this guy now as well. He's got his steamroller. He's only got one point of one star of experience. I might as well get the pain over and done with. We have artillery. <clears throat> Let's take this guy over as an 8.8. .8. That's another one with skilled support. Right, off you go. <clears throat> okay. So none of these guys have got their steamroller yet. But this is a uh, this is one of the units that I brought across. These three, these one A's, <clears throat> are all units that I've brought across. It's 
So, <clears throat> you know, what? I'd love to get my hands on an overrun hero because that's actually the only way that I can put overrun on infantry. But these guys who have all got skilled support, not this guy, he's got survivor. These two that have got skilled support can now serve as KVs. So, field repairs, of course, so that we don't run out. Zero slots because KV is expensive. <clears throat> I guess on this one we can put the old tank killer as well. And we can do the same here. I received a zero slots hero. I guess I only got two of them. I guess I only have two, I should say. Uh, two reduced and two zero. So let's go with reduced. Field repairs, of course. Let's go with fast learner on this guy as well. Try and speed up his ascension into godhood. <clears throat> okay. So the other two 1As that have come across, <clears throat> obviously they need a lot of work. Right, um, I guess we just make these three Fs for the moment. got to be very careful about losing these because they're obviously they are important to me do you know what learns from mistakes would be ideal on this if only I had <clears throat> I could take that um, take that skilled support off that freaking there we go Take that off the anti aircraft gun. I wonder if I should swap these. Because I also feel like the 8.8 .8 is really slower to grow. Because it's very it's much less likely to actually get kills. Let's change it to a two centimeter. And let's change this to be the 8.8. .8. Okay, so I'm running this huge amount of tanks here. I think from now on, every unit I buy that is that is in the cross classable categories. Um, every unit that I buy will start life as a tank and then be moved to another another department when it's uh, got steamroller. Just seems way easier. <clears throat> the only thing here, of course, is I do think that Running over strength to tanks is probably a bit more efficient than um, uh, running over strength tanks is a little bit more efficient than running lots and lots of tanks. But if we're going to do an encirclement, then I'm going to need lots and lots of tanks. As always, I'm going to bring my one infantry along. It's not quite leveled up yet to uh, 
clear away any city tiles that I need to clear away. I tell you what, making a paratrooper into an engineer would actually be really useful at some point. If if I put Ignore's entrenchment on that, um, then you could just fly it somewhere and, and clear house. I don't know who's got... Uh, I think Ignore's entrenchment is... Yeah, it's on my tactical. My double strike tactical. Really allows me to clean the uh, clean the place out. Right. <clears throat> that is a lot of units I'm deploying. Let's reduce the strength of this a little bit. power on this. Okay, four slots. <clears throat> Bringing along some recon cars as well. Um, do I really need recon? I mean, this is a, this is a very simple map, to be fair. I may not need much recon. Now yeah, recon has got its uses for getting the bonuses, but still. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I also have my high grade recon as well, which I've not been using. What is the slot cost of this bad boy? Eight. And these? Ten. So five for that half. <clears throat> and this fat beast? Twelve. Bring that artillery along. <clears throat> this thing is nearly maxed out as well. Okay, you know what we're going to do is... I'm going to shuffle this out of my team. Because I don't really think it's necessary right now to bring this monster. <clears throat> I'm going to shuffle this out, put it to one side. And instead, what is this like? Eight slots? Okay, KV is 10. So, this is the KV that's half slots. Unassigned fast learner temporarily. Put zero slots on. Oh, that's annoying. Was temporarily, I can just take the overstrength off. Okay, there we go. Um, put fast learner back on. <clears throat> uh, 
<laughs> Actually, let's not put Fast Loner back on. Sure, why not? <clears throat> I'm going to try and create the combo for Fast Loner. As in, Fast Learner learns from mistakes and aiming assistance. <clears throat> really help this guy farm the experience points by basically turning him into a recon. Okay. So, what I've done here is I'm saving myself slots, basically. So each KV costs 10, this costs 8, and I believe the infantry at the top costs 10. No, it costs 8. But it doesn't matter because you know it's 8. Just getting maximum efficiency out of my zero slot here is here. So now. What I can do is I can put fast deployment on this. We'll have artillery, fast deployment and lethal. To help train this one up. Actually, let's take lethal and artillery off this. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Maybe I should put fast deployment on this so it can chase planes. Decisions, decisions. Okay, all right, we'll keep this one at reduced slots, why not? I'm wondering whether I should go for a lethal anti-aircraft gun instead, try and level it up fast. Now, we'll make this one lethal and give it extra range. <clears throat> I can't run zero slots and do this at the same time. It's that simple. I could take that to 15 strength though. I do have four slots left and I'm quite satisfied with the amount of things I have deployed here. It's pretty standard setup for me. Let's do it. We're gonna farm these boys up. Wait a minute, how many fast deployments have I got? Okay, right, I didn't put it on here. Yeah, we'll go fast deployment on this anti-aircraft gun. See if I can give it the opportunity to level up a little bit. I'll put unyielding on this because <clears throat> if there's one unit the AI likes to attack and suppress, it's your anti-aircraft gun. But this one's got loads of experience, so it's not a problem. Soon, one day, my entire army will have the blue stripe. A mark of distinction for having served for so long. We'll hold that one in reserve. Sadly, no overrun hero. It's one of those heroes that would actually be uh, really useful to get early on.
Okay, alright, I'm quite happy with that. Time to buy auxiliaries. Start with the usual suspects. Let's just buy a, a, a metric ass load of scout planes. <clears throat> Plenty of airport space for them. Metric ass load. I need to get this airport ASAP. Or this one. One of these two airports. So I can operate the front line better. I'm sure that Rommel will very quickly take that one. Whoa. So annoying that you've you've got scout planes selected. You would think that it would go through all of the units of the same type first. It's gonna do it now. Let's you know these airports are actually quite far back from the front line. Unhelpfully so. But anyway, we'll deploy a fighter in each region and I'll just keep most of the heavy duty bombing over here. Right! I think some auxiliary paratroopers would be a good idea. We do have supply hexes, so we can decide at a later point to buy paratroopers if we wish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units for a strangle. Probably eight or nine for a slightly more reserved pin. Right, we'll have the engineers lead the way. Ah, oh, because I normally pair that with this. You know what? Um, <clears throat> let's go with this three H. We'll power it up. KVs can handle themselves. Give it a bit more combat strength. Okay. So, on Rommel's side of things... Um, I'll just keep a recon bike over there. Let's keep a recon bike over here in this powered up tank. Or should I? I don't know if he's going to need help. That's the thing. If he needs help, then a few token units is not really going to make the difference. But then again, if he takes that forward airport, then that shouldn't be an issue. I tell you what, let's bring the aggressive, let's bring the aggressive deployment anti-aircraft gun. These two should be all I need to secure this airport. If he needs further help, I can use my air force to, to supply that help. 
I can always dip into my auxiliaries if I need to. There's supply hex here and here, so <clears throat> if after assessing the situation he needs more material support, I can just uh, deploy um, deploy um, auxiliary forces. <clears throat> Just buy auxiliaries. We're bringing all the tonks. Do you know what? Huh? Why not? <clears throat> if I'm going to bring a tank over here, why not bring the thief tank? It has the greatest ability to alter the battle by strategically stealing uh, key units. Why not? Okay. Last thing is to... I wonder if I should bring some Bring some some uh, throwaways, throwaway uh, boat pirates. Probably don't even need to pay full price for them. I can split them as well using auxiliary slots. Let's add three to my basket. I'll use them to help create the encirclement at the start. So I'll just bring them up here and just spread them out. <clears throat> that way I'm not wasting my own precious units to in, to start the encirclement down here. I can just boat pirate this bit and actually only need to commit my tanks to the encirclement when, uh, when it's all kicking off. One thing to keep... Uh, one thing to keep in mind is I can actually embark these. Like, I don't have to crawl them up the road either. I could stick them in cargo planes and send them to these airports. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it. I think I'm happy. Once again, a lot of this is going to depend on what my what my ally does but I'm gonna just gonna try and carve up here to take these take these objectives as quickly as possible and encircle the enemy he should he should get all of those before he touches these <clears throat> you would hope he's only got a thousand prestige as well that's interesting Alright, there's no point in overthinking it. Let's farm. Let us go. Let us go forth and farm the enemy. That is it for now. Deployment complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.